Good morning all. Today I'm going to take a look at this. It's a pack of two LED light bulbs. They're warm white and they're E27. Now the reason I bought this, in fact I bought two or three of these I think, is that they were marked down to one pound for a pair of light bulbs, which I think is pretty good. Now I don't normally buy E27s because I don't have a lot of E27 lamp holders in my house. I think there's one outside, none inside. But um, I wanted to take these apart and see what's inside. So this one's still intact. This one I've mangled and gouged and managed to get the lid off. So we'll take a look inside there. So what do we have in here? Well we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 pairs of warm white LEDs, so 20 LEDs on there. And there's an eight pin chip, we'll take a look at that. And that looks like it's a BP5116, I think that is. It's very difficult to illuminate that. Let's see if we can find a data sheet for that. So this is a bright power semiconductor BP5116DJ, high voltage linear LED driver. Now from this diagram it looks like it's designed to be put straight across the AC mains. We need a four diode bridge rectifier and a smoothing capacitor. Those are not on the aluminium PCB as far as I can tell. And then there's the eight pin chip, uh, a current setting resistor and of course the LED array. So I can't see on here the rectifier or the smoothing capacitor, they must be underneath. Now there are some clips here which are sort of uh, one-way sliding connectors onto what looks like a, a double-legged PCB coming in from underneath. So I'm just gonna bend these barbs back and try and ease this PCB, this aluminium plate PCB, out of the lamp. So the connections are bent back, they're out of the way. Let's try and get this plate PCB out of the lamp and see what's underneath. And well, we've certainly got a large capacitor there. Have we got the bridge rectifier? Yes, it looks like we have. In here, there is a four diode bridge rectifier. Now the four diodes are integrated into one package there, D1. There's a 105, which is one mega ohm uh, resistor across the capacitor so that it discharges moderately quickly once the mains power has been taken off and then that uh, high voltage DC which would be about 300 and something once rectified and smoothed goes into this board. Um, here's the current setting resistor it's actually implemented as two resistors in parallel I think you can just about make out they're in parallel from the tracking on the board although it is coated in this shiny substance so it's quite difficult. There's a zero ohm resistor there. That's probably just because they couldn't make a track connection. This is uh, certainly going to be a single sided PCB. What's this smoothing capacitor? It is a 6.8 microfarad, 400 volt because rectified mains is up in the 300 and something volt range. 125 degrees C because uh, this metallized casing is going to get quite warm. So that's it. That's what's inside one of these Livano Lux uh, warm white mains light bulbs and I think you'll agree that uh, two of these for a pound is pretty good value. Not sure if your local Lidl is going to be uh, discounting them quite to this extent but uh, might be worth checking out. 